So you want to use these Paragon characters, but when you retarget them, they still have the weapons attached to the skeleton, and you have no idea how to remove them. Some tutorials solve this by opening the character in Blender, removing everything, and putting it back. No! That is an insane amount of work that I refuse to do, and you shouldn't need to learn a new software for this. Other tutorials solve this by changing the material to be invisible. That doesn't fix anything! Your gun is still in the world and will be smacking into things! No! This tutorial, THIS tutorial, will show you how to retarget these characters and remove their weapons quick, easy, and right. No blender, no material masking, we're getting rid of these weapons quick and easy. This video is for Unreal 4, but I'll do a tutorial on Unreal 5 shortly, since their retargeting is a bit different. But if you know how to do it, the same steps still apply and you can skip to the solution timestamp marked in the comment section. Okay. Let's start with loading up a new project. I've named it Paragon and I'm adding Twin Blasts to it. Then I'm opening up each character skeleton and showing the retarget options. For Twin Blasts, select the root and click Recursively Set Translation Skeleton. Then on Root, put Animation and Pelvis Animation Scaled. I uh, don't know why I opened it on the mannequin, I'm an idiot. Now on both skeletons, select humanoid rig and modify pose. Use current pose. If you see apply here, apply it and then save. Now get your character's animation blueprint, right click, retarget. Let's make a folder named animations and put the retargeted stuff there. So most of you have probably gotten to this point by yourself and this is where you realize that every character's weapon is stuck and your only solution is a 10 minute long video using blender or changing materials filled with these daunting nodes. The character works but we need to remove these weapons. So the solution is so stupid easy you'll be crying tears of joy once you see this. So. Let's open the retargeted animation blueprint, then go to the anim graph, and from here we will get bone transform. Then we're going to literally be changing the transform of the weapons that are floating and changing everything to zero. Before you do this, take note of the parent bone for each weapon from the skeleton. For twin blasts, it's weapon underscore R, L, and grenade. So back in the anim graph, on our bone transform node, go to bone to modify and select the first parent bone. I'll start with weapon L, and then for each of these settings, by default, they say ignore. We don't want that. Please don't ignore this. We want this to affect the bones. So we will change these settings to replace existing for each. Don't forget the most important thing, change the scale to zero. It's set to one by default. And then just copy and paste for as many weapon slots as you have for the character, change the bone names and plug it in. That's it, you're done. These Paragon assets are yours. I know, I know, where have I been for the past five years? Unfortunately, having to work like a peasant and using my free time to learn Unreal whenever I get the chance. I've recently gotten to the point where I've been able to learn anything I set my mind to fairly quickly and I'm aiming to solve as many of these issues that I can find online as fast and as easy as possible because I'm a lazy person and I want the results as quick and easy as I can get them. I'm also inspired to make this because every single Paragon tutorial you see from bigger creators are so deceptively titled. They'll name it tutorial on how to use Paragon characters or how to remove the weapon. But their videos use Paragon characters who either don't have weapons, so their video is kind of lying to you, or if they do have weapons, the solution is masking the material. And as I've said, that solves nothing. So if you'd like to see more tutorials, for the love of God, subscribe. See you later, guys. Bye.